we're back with another barn find video and i'm i'm pretty stoked this time because the last car i saw that had an engine of this caliber was almost a million dollars for those of you guys who've been watching my channel for an extended period of time we found an old 1990s diablo in essentially a barn find situation about a year ago maybe a little bit longer than that time's going by pretty quick and now we're back with another barn find video and i'm i'm pretty stoked this time because the last car was more so heavily modified and that car was of moderate value the two cars that i just picked up are stock and they are of extreme value. And uh, this is what gets me pumped because these are two cars that I've, well, this type of car is a car I've always, always, always wanted. And I've never really been able to kind of find the right car, right deal, right time, right place. And the popularity of them has skyrocketed so much in the past year, year and a half that it's been very difficult to find anything that I felt was something attainable because part of me wants to modify them, part of me doesn't. So maybe because there's two, I modify one and I keep one fully original as like a collector piece. Uh, if there's any guesses in the comments, please try to see what we're going to get. These cars have value between 500 and $800,000 once they are restored to their original greatness. So if anybody has any guesses, now is the time to throw it down and guess because we're on our way. Well, I don't really want to tell you where we're going, but we're on our way to go get those cars. This is the more rare of the two cars. This car is a 1983 Countach. It is white on a ivory-ish interior. The what makes this car special here is this. This is, uh, and, and there's some pieces taken off here because this car was in storage for so long, but this is a downdraft four valve Weber carbureted car. I believe these are the most valuable, rarest of the rare Countach in existence. The last car I saw that had an engine of this caliber was almost a million dollars. And that was in a market that was pre, I don't want to say the word COVID, but it was pre the hype of all the car sales. So this car potentially can be worth upwards of a million dollars. Now we don't know, we gotta take it all apart, check all the numbers, check all the stuff, check everything, make sure everything here is original, and then we'll truly know. So the white one's loaded without any issues, which is always great. Uh, you can obviously see we've got custom exhaust. Looks pretty cool actually. I wish it would have been a little higher so get that gap out of there. But uh, last time this car was on the road, 2003. That is almost 20 years. It's kind of epic, huh? This is exciting. Going and buying a brand new Huracan from the showroom floor, I'm not sure if it gives me enough like excitement anymore. I don't know. I, I'm just super, I love these cars. I love old stuff. I love making it work. I love figuring out if I can even fix it, work on it, do anything to it. Look at the sex appeal to this car. I'm gonna say they use this Wolf of Wall Street for a reason, but it was period correct and that's the way it makes sense. But uh, I love it. Anyways, the black one, spoiler alert, is still in there. And uh, we're gonna drop this one off and then we're gonna come back and see the black one. Cause I don't wanna go in there and film it cause I want you guys to see it in the sunlight. The black one's my favorite. I can't wait to have that car in my garage just ready to drive at any moment so we're gonna go drop this one off and we'll swing back we'll film the black one getting loaded and then we'll drop them uh off to fabio in the detail bay and make it work
now for the better of the two, in my opinion. The white one's a little more rare, but the black one here, it's just, it's menacing. It's sinister. It, it just sinister. That is how a real Lamborghini should look. Something aggressive and less pure, right? Leave the Ferrari guys to their, you know, whites and blues and all that stuff. Let's get the black one, the red one, the wild ones for the Lambos. This one here is considered um, what they would call a low body. It's a lot lower to the ground. I don't know exactly how much. I think I read 30 millimeters. So just enough to where the tires just tuck underneath the fenders. All black on this one, 4,000 original miles. This is a 1984. This one's fuel injected. So a little less rare than the carbureted double downdraft whatever car. This one was originally carbureted, but it was converted in 1990 to a, uh, a USA homologated fuel injection system, which in my opinion is cool, but like not as cool. I think now that we're so far in the future, the people are more desired with the really kind of old school carbureted cars. So the carbureted cars are worth a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna send this off to a Countach specialist in California and let him put the thing back to OEM, get the carburetors back on it, get it tuned up, get it running, and, and just make the car pristine. So we could definitely take care of the interior and the paint and the underbody and all that stuff, but uh, I'm gonna leave the engine to the pros because honestly, I, I couldn't turn a carbureted car on if I tried. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I've never owned a carbureted car. This is not carbureted yet, but it will be. And I think that uh, once we get this car all dialed in, this one will have some extreme value in the $600,000 range. I'm very excited about this car, so I can't wait to get it back to the shop. So every time you buy a car, there's always that feeling after you buy it of bliss. And then the next day you're like, oh, should I have done that? Should I have spent that money? And last night I happened to watch the full documentary on the Cannonball Run Countach, which I learned was the first Countach ever imported into America. The one from the movie, it's really, really famous car. And it's actually a very exciting story. There's so much going on with that particular car and what they did with the movie and the action cannonball uh, run itself, it's epic. Watching that movie made me wanna go out and buy a number, another one. I literally want more Countach's than shoes right now. These are the coolest cars that you could ever get your hands on. Fabio's over here buffing and getting the paint all back to pretty, pretty shiny. Anyways, this car here is extra special. Now, white one's actually pretty special too. I learned a lot about the engines, a lot about the mechanics, and I can't wait to drive this car on the road. So part of me wants to do something wild and crazy with this one. I'm not a big fan of the white on white, but what if we did some special project? Comment below if you guys wanna see something like absolutely mental done to a Countach. This is almost sacrilegious after I just mentioned the documentary about the beautiful, pristine, the whole story, everything about it. And I'm over here talking about, let's paint this a different color. Let's change the interior. Why don't we upgrade the engine to something more modern? I would love to see something like that. I don't know if I have the necessary equipment to do it, but maybe, maybe a V12 upgrade to the current V12 in here makes sense. I don't know, you guys let me know, but I'm gonna end this video with this. So subscribe to see future updates on this car here and give us a like for buying two of the sickest cars out on the market today.